Welcome back to another video. Today it's just me, Cole, and Roga out here hiking around. We're getting ready to do a big trip tomorrow, but I just found the first shed of the day. Just an itty bitty little thing. Almost stepped on it. <sighs> Dang it, Roga. Funky little two point. Booner. 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 That's sweet. We'll take it for sure. Well, it's probably been, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes since this first little tiny shed. And we'd actually looped around. We started making our way back. I turned around and glassed all the way at the top of the opposite hillside. And got another one. Looks like a decent one, too. So pretty excited. But I had to turn around. Now we're going to bomb over here and grab it. We're just making our way over to the shed. And I got another one. Roga, you got it? What you got there? Is that a brownie? Yes, it is. Sweet. Good dog. Good dog. Well, maybe we'll do some looking in here. Just walking up on that one I glassed. And not bad. I'll take it. Hell yes. I'm having a day here in this little canyon. I'm just, I mean, you can see I'm down in this thick, nasty brush trying to make my way out. And I just got another brownie. <sighs> Looks like probably the nicest one of the day. Oh, yeah. What is that? That's sweet. I will take it. Number four, third brownie. This trip's barely begun. Hell yes. All right, it is actually day two. I'll give you guys the update. We're packing into camp right now. Got a long ways to go, but on the way in, I glassed up a little elk shit. And so, oh, I guess I'm just gonna fall. <laughs> but I can out here and grab it right now. I think it's a hard white. Little six point maybe. Good start. Good deal. I think it's a little nicer than I was expecting actually. It's chalk. Decent six point though. Hell yeah. Great start to the trip. Okay, well, just picked up that last shed and these kids are yelling at me from across the canyon. And there's another one above me here, so go grab it real quick. We are just about to it. I saw it once on my way up and then totally lost sight of this shed. Cole spotted it up, so we're gonna see what it is. Mine was a right side. This is a left side. It kinda looks like it's probably a match maybe not I don't know I have to hike down there and check this one looks older almost chalky oh definitely not that's a super chalk but sweet maybe we'll pack it to camp well hello it's day two or I guess it's day three we packed in made camp last night set up and we're just hiking in here this morning and I found the first shed of the day. Actually, Brady found one off the trail on the way up a little lower, but right here on the trail. We got a little brownie. Ah, sweet. Take it for sure. Well, it's probably only been maybe 45 minutes since that deer shed. Brady glassed up an elk shed, and on our way down, I just found a deer shed. It looks decent. <sighs> Excited to start finding some sheds. We're just barely getting going. This elk shed that we're walking to in the bottom looks pretty good. Is it?
probably a stick. Holy cow. Oh my God. That might be the biggest deer shed I've ever found. Oh my God. That thing is huge. That thing is huge. Oh my God. Holy cow. Well, supposed to be looking for elk sheds, but. All right. It should be just below us here now. Like right over here. Still got this giant in my hand. Might be a little, it's probably just right here. Where is it at, Rogan? Oh, it's right there. It's a hard one to see. I don't know how you glass that thing. That's the one you glass, though, huh? Almost has to be. Still can't see what it is at all. Here's a wolf. To fall down the mountain ain't half bad. Oh, right on. Kicker. It has a kicker? Mm -hmm. You can take a picture of that. No second. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see that cheater. That's sweet. That's a sweet bull. Right on. Does he have no second or is it busted? Busted. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> well, Brady actually left his walking stick down where we just picked up that elk shed. So I'm waiting for him and I figured I'd show you just how big this deer shed is. I don't feel like the video did any justice. It's huge. Arguably one of the best, probably one of the biggest deer sheds I've ever found. Well, I figured I better give you guys an update. Yesterday was rough. Picked up those two or I guess three sheds in the morning and nothing the rest of the day. Uh, Cole picked up two deer sheds. I don't think he videoed either of them, but. Damn pine hand down there. On the board. It's our last day in here to shed hunt though. And we've been working this one big side hill all morning, glassing across working. And I just finally glassed up, I think it's like a white five point maybe, across the river from me. And I was debating, trying to figure out how I'm gonna go get that. Looked up above me and we got a shed way up top. So I'm gonna go run and grab this one. I'm gonna run back down to my pack and then Maybe go grab the other one. I'm not really sure. Might try and just grab that on the way back. But we'll see. God, I'm out of breath. Just walking up on this uh, second shed I glassed today. I don't know. From down there, I didn't think it was very big. And I still don't, but it's laying right up here in front of me now. Hey. There. So, get up here real quick, take a look, and then run down to my pack and see if 
see if those kids waited for me or not. It just looks so weird because I glassed it from so far down low and it was tines down, downhill. I had no idea what was going on here. Looks pretty nice. Looks white for sure. A little baby sixer. Well, hell, I'll take it. Little ragger. Woo! Good deal. Almost chalk. Huh? Go find a few more. It's actually probably been a couple hours since I glassed up this first shed of the day, well, first shed of the day across the canyon from me. And picked up this little one, we had some lunch, just been hanging out, glassing around, and finally making my way up to this shed. So get eyes on it and see what it really is. All right, moment of truth, I've, uh, Spent a lot of time looking at the shed this morning because it was across the hill from us and I just kept glassing it up. But the whole time I've been pretty sure it was just a little tiny five point and that's looking to be the case. Ooh, Rogue, you're in the way. Let's see here. Just, just barely right there. We have this little rock and we'll grab it. Hopefully it's hard white at least. That would be cool. I don't even know if I can get up this. Sorry about that. Not bad. It is just what I thought. Funky little five point. Chalky too. Dang. Well, they exist. Good to know. What you got there, Brady? Let's see it, let's see it. Oh my gosh, I can't even get it all on the camera. Sick, man. Well, it's the last day, pack out day. I had a pretty rough go at her yesterday. Brady, on the other hand. He found a big old set, so. Rogue gal, what you think? <laughs> he actually did real good. Him and Cole went up on their own little adventure. Cole found that little six-point set. Brady found this giant brown. Um, oh, and this thing. Eight-point. Plus another year off it. So that's sweet. Pretty solid looking trip though. Now, now it is. Big deer horn coal found. Big giant deer shed I found. <sighs> Not bad. Brady, you're gonna have to come hold this set up in a minute. Yeah, no. Let's see him. That thing's so big, Brady. It's so big. I bet you, I bet it's 15 pounds. Biggest set of 
big sheds I've ever found. I think so big. Unders are just insane. That thing's crazy. You ready to carry it out of here? Not really. <laughs> but it's got to get out one way. I'll take it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn good trip. Out? Ripper McGill. Ripper McGill. Yeah. <laughs> Ripper McGill. Taking all the Ripper McGill home with me. Ain't quite over yet, huh? That's what you do when you don't got have a good shovel. <laughs> Too heavy. <laughs> <laughs>